Hi darlings, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious and creamy vegan mozzarella using sunflower seeds. To start with, we need to soak one cup of raw sunflower seeds overnight. Make sure you soak them for at least 12 hours as it will help to improve our cheese texture. Drain and rinse the sunflower seeds and add them to a blender or a food processor. The next ingredients we are going to add are 2 cups of water and half cup of olive brine. This last ingredient is optional, but it gives such a delicious taste to this vegan mozzarella. So, if you don't have olive brine, add half cup of water instead. Now it's time to blend the sunflower seeds and we have to make sure they are completely blended. For this recipe, we will be using the liquid, which is a kind of sunflower seed milk. Now we need to drain our mixture using a cheesecloth or you can also use a nut milk bag. Remember to put a bowl underneath to collect the milk as we can make a bit of a disaster and I don't think we want that. The next step is to press the bag to remove all the liquid from the sunflower seeds. Inside the bag we have the remaining from the seeds. Keep them as you can make a delicious spread cheese from them. Once we have our milk ready, it will be time to add the rest of the ingredients. Transfer the liquid into a blender glass or a food processor. If you added water instead of olive brine, add a pinch of salt. And if you have used olive brine, don't add salt as the cheese can turn out too salty. Ok, so now we are going to add the rest of the ingredients which are 2 tablespoons of potato starch, 4 tablespoons of tapioca starch or corn starch, whatever you have on hand. Now I'm going to add 3 tablespoons of olive oil, but you can also use sunflower oil for a milder taste. We will also add 1 tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and our last ingredient is 1 tablespoon of miso which will give a cheesy flavor to our delicious recipe. Now let's blend the mixture until it's smooth and creamy and then we will transfer it into a saucepan and cook over medium heat. Now it comes the most tricky part which is that you must be stirring constantly for about 5-7 minutes or until the mixture thickens and becomes stretchy. But no worries because meanwhile I would like to remind you that you can subscribe to my channel, like the video and hit the notification bell so you'll never miss any of my vegan recipes. This is a really good way to support my work. You can also share the video and comment how much you love this recipe, which I hope you do. As you can see I've swapped the tongue for a whisk as I started to get some lumps on the mixture, so you can directly use a whisk from the beginning. Here you can see how the mixture became very stretchy, which means it's ready to transfer into our molds. We are going to put the mixture into a container previously greased. I've used olive oil but you can also use any other kind of oil or vegan butter. I highly recommend you to avoid using plastic containers as they can release harmful chemicals when exposed to high temperatures. Once you have transferred the mixture, let it cool down and keep it in the fridge for at least 2 hours. Here I had it just for a few hours but it's ready to be unmolded. And that's our vegan cheese ready. If you prefer a firmer cheese, you can add more starch or reduce the amount of water. You can also add herbs or spices to the mixture to get different flavors. You can use this cheese on pizza, sandwiches, salads or any other dish that calls for mozzarella. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make sunflower vegan mozzarella. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.